Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to look at how to buy PulseX. This is the native token of the PulseX crypto exchange. So we're going to have a first step is we're going to connect our wallet uh, to the PulseX exchange site. We're going to hit connect. We're going to get a number of wallet options there. We can hit the ellipsis if we want to see more options. Uh, and of course we can click this button down here to learn how to connect if you want more details. We're just going to click MetaMask. That is one of the most popular uh, uh, wallets. And so we're going to click that one. And of course, that's going to show our address at the top right there. We can uh, select the button wallet here and we can see our balances there. We can also see recent transactions we've made as well. Uh, the second thing, of course, we can hit the cog up the top right here as well. And of course, that will give us our gas fee in terms of pulse. And of course, give us our uh, price slippage in terms of the price. So setting a high slippage tolerance can help transactions succeed, but you may not get a, such a good price used with caution. So just be careful with there. Uh, these are advanced features down the bottom here, and I wouldn't worry about that for yourself unless you're an experienced trader. Uh, we're going to leave it at half percent slippage there for the price and uh, click out of there. The other thing, of course, you can uh, change the language as well. I'm using English, of course, at the moment. The price of Pulse X is at, actually at the top since it is the native token of the Pulse X exchange. That's very important. Now, the other thing, of course, is that we want to select PulseX. You may have a lot of tokens that you can select, but we want to select PulseX. In this case, we've done that. So we've got it at the bottom there. Now, I have an existing balance here of 361 million uh, PulseX, uh, and I have an existing balance here of US dollars, 1,147. Now, you can obviously bridge over uh, using the Pulse Chain Bridge, uh, Ethereum or USDC, something like that, to buy PulseX. Uh, so you can do that. Now, we can... Click the select button as well and select any tokens that we might have in our wallet. We've got some ETH, uh, so we could use that. Uh, but we're going to use our US dollars uh, to do that in this video. So the next thing, of course, is the price chart here. We can change the period to 24 days, one week, or however long there is data there. And, of course, we have US dollars here. So this is really a one. So one US dollar equals a PLSX, which is one US dollar will currently buy us 1,369 PLS, PLSX. Uh, which is the pulse chain uh pulse chain uh pulse x ticker there so uh, uh pulse x is the pulse x ticker you know, or trading uh, ticker that you might want to use now that is one dollar will get you 1369 uh, uh, pulse x so very very cool we can confirm that by putting in the swap ticket here we put one dollar in there and it shows that we will get 3000 1369 pulse x for that uh, and we've got the ratio down here confirming that as well uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to buy a thousand dollars worth of uh, Pulse X, that's going to get us uh, 1,369,250 Pulse X at the moment at the current price, which is shown below. Uh, what else we've we got down here? We've got the price impact here. So, this is the difference between the market price and the estimated price due to the trade size. As we can see, that's going to make a very uh, almost no impact on the price because $1,000 is relatively small compared to large traders and volumes in the liquidity pool. Next one, of course, is the minimum received. Your transaction will revert if there is a large unfavorable price movement before it is confirmed. So uh, this is kind of the minimum that we receive there. So it's just slightly lower uh, than the Mount Shan. Typically, you should get pretty close to the Mount Shan there. You can see the price is changing in real time and the values are changing as well. Now, liquidity provider fee, there is a fee uh, for each trade. A 0.29% fee is paid and 0.22% to the LP or liquidity provider token holders. And 0.07% uh, towards the PLSX buy and burn function, which is quite unique to the Pulse X exchange. Makes Pulse X a very, very attractive token in terms of tokenomics, as a share of every trade goes to buy and burn Pulse X. The other thing, of course, is the route. That's the different uh, routing through these tokens resulted in the best price of your trade. It will show you that it's, tra it's trading from USDC through to Pulse, through to Pulse X to make this uh, trade happen. Uh, which is one of the powers here of this trade here. So once we're, of course, we're happy, we want to uh, buy $1,000 worth of PulseX. That's pretty much what we want to do. We're going to click the swap button there. It's going to bring us up the ticket as well. Everything, all the same details. Output is estimated. And of course, uh, it's got a price update there. So the price can change fast and we will have to click that update and then swap the token if we're happy with the price. We're going to get a MetaMask uh, ticket pop-up. Pop it's going to have a small fee. 0.000638 T pulse or test pulse in this case. We're going to confirm that. And of course, if we want to add the PLSX to the MetaMask, we can do that. I've already done that, but you could click on that too. So you can see it in your MetaMask wallet 
when the fund's received. You can see the transaction receipt here. A green means that it's positive, it went through. Red means that there was some issue, sometimes around uh, the gas fee or something like that, but it has gone through pretty smoothly at the moment. So we can click on that too. And of course, we will be able to see the transaction on the blockchain. We can see that we spent $1,000 here and we gained uh, all this uh, pulse here as well. So a very, very cool. Uh, and Pulse X, I should say. And we can come back to here, of course. We can see that the $1,000 has gone out of the US dollar balance, and we've added a uh, further uh, a Pulse there uh, to the Pulse X there. So 1.3 million is what we ended up buying. Uh, so very, very nice the transaction there. That's pretty much it, folks. Hope you enjoyed that quick video on how to buy Pulse X on the Pulse X crypto exchange. And uh, look, look at some of the other short videos we've got coming up as well, including how to bridge funds over from Ethereum uh, to Pulse Chain. Uh, Hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe, like, share, hit the bell, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.